and welcome to another episode of What Did God Say? Where we address everyday topics from a biblical perspective. Amen. My name is Dr. Talia Jones. I'm a prophetess to the nation. And here with me is Dr. Kathy Jones. She's an evangelist after the heart of God. Amen. Amen. Second Peter chapter one, verse three tells us that God's div divine power has yes. given us everything we need Amen. for life and godliness. And this is through the knowledge of him, amen, mm. who called us by his own glory and goodness. So today we are here to get to know what God has to say on the topic of faith. Amen. This is part two. Last time mm. we talked about faith as well, but there's so much in it. Amen. amen. We just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't just stop mm. there. Amen. But we are going to be talking about faith. This is faith part two. Amen. So Amen. let us pray. Dear Father God, we bless your holy name. Mm. And we thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faith, the measure of faith that you've given each and every one of us. Mm. Lord God, we just ask that you would teach us. Teach us about faith. Yes. Give us the full and clear understanding of it in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we just ask that you would help us to mix that your word with faith. Amen. And help us to walk in it and walk mm. it out and live it in the name of Jesus. Bless every soul, Lord God, at the sound of my voice. Yes. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that they would hear something that would ignite and spark their faith to keep on keeping on for you, Jesus. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we love you. We thank you and praise you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, in amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So just a reminder on the definition of faith, because you know, I like for all of us to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. Faith is the complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Amen. The complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And the someone we're talking about today is God Almighty mm. and the something is his word. Yes. Amen. So Dr. Kathy, what does God have to say about faith? Part two. <laughs> Part two. Amen. <laughs> faith is awesome. Amen. Without it, we can't please God. Yeah. Yeah. Through it, we can receive forgiveness, salvation, strength, Amen. protection, wholeness, blessings. Oh my goodness. Faith, we have to live by it. Yeah. The word of God said we have to live by it and we got to walk by it. Amen. Amen. And through it, and, and, and also we have to fight a good fight of faith. Yes. We have to fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Amen. Yes. We, have to, yes. we have to fight to hold on to it. Yes. Because it yes. reminds me of a, like a, a computer. Mm -hmm. If it's not active, yeah. it'll go back dark. Yeah. You know, that, that it'll go back to its natural state. Yeah. So faith is it's imperative. It's important that we hold on to faith. Yeah. Faith in the name of Jesus can make us whole. Yes. Um, I'm, 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 I'm reminded of um, Acts 3 and 16. Can Amen. you turn that with me? Acts chapter 3. It was a man uh, that was lame from, from his mother's womb. Amen. Amen. He was stuck at the gate of beauty. He was stuck at the kingdom. Mm. So close, but yet so far away. Amen. Amen. It just took faith. It just took faith in the name of Jesus. Um that made him whole. Amen. Amen. So turn again, again, turn with me to 316. Acts chapter 3 verse 16 says, And his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Amen. That was a man that was stuck yeah. at the gate of beauty. Amen. But you know what brought him his wholeness? It was his faith yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. all. And, you know, and Peter, uh, um, I think it was Peter and John, they, they they told the people, you know, why are you so amazed? Yeah. In so many words. Yeah. It's the faith that this man has in Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the, so that's all we need. We just yeah. need to hold on to our faith. We're Amen. in a faithless generation. Amen. Yes. Amen. We're in a microwave generation. If it don't happen right then and there, yeah. we lose our faith. We throw in the towel and we quit. throw it out time. But yeah. we gotta fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Hold on to your faith. Yeah. God, Jesus even told Peter, I, I pray that your faith don't fail you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let yeah. your faith fail. 
Amen. Because you can get so much yeah. through faith. You get your salvation through faith. Amen. You know, you please God. It is through your faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. So faith, that's the that's one of the things he said to me today. Yeah. Is that in the name of Jesus, this man was made strong. Yes. So can you. Yes. So can I. This yes. man was made strong and he had perfect soundness. If we never ever need a sound is we need it today yes so many people are struggling because there's a spirit in the earth i'm convinced yeah there's a spirit that's trying to kill steal and destroy yes. especially yes. the minds of god's people yes it's trying to take the minds of god's people yes but your faith make you whole yes amen your amen. faith bring you forgiveness yes even the faith of your friends can help you yes ask the brothers that cut the hole in the roof Yes. Amen. And yes. lower Jesus, lower the man down to Jesus. that was paralyzed to Jesus. Yes. Jesus said, I saw the faith of you. I see your faith. Yes. Man, you are forgiven. Yep. <laughs> to God be the glory. And he healed them. Yes. Take, rise up, take up your yes. bed and walk. Amen. Mm. So having that faith, having that faith in God, having that faith and in, in trust in his word is so important. Amen. Yes. That is how we're able to stand against the wiles of the devil, yes. the scheme of the devil. The Bible tells us, it says, uh, when it's talking about putting on the full armor mm. of God in Ephesians 6, it says, above all. Yeah, above all. Pick up the shield of faith. Yes, pick Amen. It up. The shield of faith, which is able to quench the, mm. the, the fiery darts of the enemy, of the devil. Amen. Mm. So by us, if we have our shield up, it protects us. Amen. It yes. protects the devil is throwing darts all day, every day. Yes. Amen. But when we're holding on to our faith, it protects us. But if we drop our faith, mm. if we get tired of holding on to our faith, yes. if it seems like, oh man, I'm holding on to faith, but darts mm. are still coming, mm. and you drop your faith, amen. Guess what? The dart's gonna hit directly at you. And amen. next thing you know, you're defeated. Amen. But if we would just hold up on to hold, our faith, amen. Hold, yes, that we got a shield of it. Yeah. Hold it up because the enemy is always shooting dots. Darts. Yes. yes. He, fiery darts. Yes. And it's to destroy us. Amen. Yes. But your your faith can quench them. Yes. Faith can be a contender of the faith. Fight for your faith. Hold yes. on to your faith. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, our faith can quench the darts of the enemy. Yes. Our faith can shut the mouths of the lion. Yes. Amen. Our faith can have see a see a red sea party. Yes. It's through our faith that our, we can faith. we can cause a tree at the root to be plucked up yes. and cast into the sea. That's the word. And it's the word. It's our faith yes. that move mountains. If we just stand in faith, we can ask for whatever we want. Yeah. Thus, it's written. Amen. That's what I love about it. Yep. It is written. Yep. And we got a cloud of witnesses. We do. Folks have already been through it. Yes. Stood in their faith, died in faith. Yes. Contend for the faith. Amen. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to Walk your faith. Walk by faith. Amen. Amen. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't yeah. be moved by what you hear. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hold, hold, hold on, on to, to your, your faith. faith. You know, I said Amen. to myself long years ago, what do I have to lose? Yeah, well. It's, what do I have to lose? I'm going <laughs> all the way, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to just step out on faith. Mm. What, what somebody told me, when you can't trace him, still trust him. Yes. It's belief. Yes. Faith is believing. Faith is the substance. It's the thing that we need. Yes. It's the currency to get what you need from heaven. Yes. Amen. Yes. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 and 5, I want to read the easy read version. Mm -hmm. It says, everyone who is a child of God has the power to win against the world. Mm. It is our faith that has won the victory against the world. Yes. Amen. It's so so who wins against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the son of God. Amen. That's what the Bible says. It is our faith that gives us the victory. Yes. That helps us to overcome. Amen. Mm. You know, as the devil is throwing these darts, throwing darts of doubt, throwing darts of discouragement, throwing darts of suicide and depression thoughts, you know, throwing all kinds of darts mm -hmm. at us, you know, attacks from people, slander, yes. whatever, whatever. He's throwing darts at us all day, every day. Amen. Yes, trying yes. to get us to mm. lose our faith. Amen. Yeah. Trying to get us to move out of that place of faith. Mm. Because when there is a lack of faith, Jesus can't perform that many miracles. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. And he did say this was a faithless generation. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, the wrote song, the songwriter said, where is your faith in God? Amen. You know, because sometimes Amen. we talk a good talk. Yeah. But that faith will be tested. It will. It he will. He want to know what's in you. It's just like school. Yeah. Whatever been deposited in you. Yeah. You're going to be eventually tested. Yeah. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Did you, ca did you retain it? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You gotta retain it because you gotta use it. Yeah. You never know when you're gonna use it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You gotta Amen. retain it. Amen. And and in James 1 12, it says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. Mm. Because having yes. stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Yes. Amen. So you are blessed when you persevere under trial. Mm. And you know, and that's a part of last time we talked about, you know, the difference between little faith and great faith. Yes. Jesus often talks about that. And that that little faith is different from small faith. Small, you can have small faith, faith the size of a mustard that's seed. That's all you need. If you hold on to that mustard seed faith, yes. you can move mountains. But when your faith is little, that means you had faith and then you allow doubt to creep in and kill that faith. Yes. Or you allow worry, unbelief to creep in. You let go of that, of holding on to that faith. Mm. Amen. That's that little faith. But that great faith, that one is like, oh, God said it. That settles it. I'm going forward in it. Mm. Amen. That's the one that says, hey, I'm going to persevere. Mm. I'm going to fight that good fight that Dr. Kathy was talking about. Mm. I'm going to fight that good fight. Yes. It really is a fight. It really is a yes, fight is. because the enemy will do whatever he can to try to discourage you. Yes. You're standing in faith. God gave you a word. Amen. You're standing and you believe him. Mm. And then next thing you know, something to the contrary is going to show up or something mm. is going to test you and, you know, have you have to make that decision. Am I going to choose faith or am I going to choose fear? Yes. Am I going to go forward in what yes. God told me to do or am I going to shrink back? Mm. You have to make those decisions and it is a fight. It is a fight. Amen. Mm. So persevere. Fight that good fight of faith. Amen. And kick out doubt. Kick out unbelief. You have to fight against that. Amen. And, and I say that because in Mark chapter 5, mm -hmm. verses 35 to 42, is mm -hmm. a story about Jairus. Yes. Amen. Jairus, his uh, his um, his daughter was sick. She was on her deathbed. Actually, someone came and told him, hey, don't even bother Jesus. Your daughter is dead. And yes. Jesus told him, hey, don't doubt. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. And when they got... It's a choice. It is a choice. It's a choice. It might, it might not be an easy choice. But it's a choice to yeah. say, you know, say, I'm going to believe what thus said the Lord. Amen. You know, what do I have to lose? Yeah. I lost everything. Yeah. You know, or, you know, I, I, my own, uh, my own ability can't make it happen. Yeah. So I might as well trust in the great I am. Amen. The one that I know created it all. Yes. I, yeah. It's just, it's just that simple. Like I said, just not a cakewalk, but it is a faithful. Yes. Yes. Amen. And so... Jesus told Jairus, mm -hmm. just believe, don't be afraid, yes. just believe. And so when they got to Jairus' house and Jesus showed up on the scene, guess what the people around did? They laughed. Yes. They're like, yeah, right. Jesus can't do anything. They laughed. Yep. Jesus kept them on the outside. And then he went in the room with the people and they were crying and bringing a bunch of doubt and unbelief mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, everybody out. Yes. Everybody. He kicked all of those unbelievers out. All yes. those who doubted and had just accepted that death. He was like, no, y'all got to go. Only thing that can stay in here is faith. Amen. Only thing that can stay Amen. is faith. And guess what? That faith kicked in and that child mm. was healed. Yes. That child yes. was healed. So when healed. you believe in God for something. You need faith around you. Yeah, yeah. You don't need dollars. Yeah. You know, you what some people call them uh, dream killers. Killers. Yeah. Dream thieves. You don't, you yeah. need when you believe in God for the unseen. You need faith around you. Do. You do. You, you need faith around you. That's why we have to be careful. Yeah. We be careful with uh, our circle. Yeah. Be careful with our who our friends are. Yeah. Because if you standing on the word, you believe in God, and they always got a doubt yeah. or negativity. You know, that, that, that can affect you. Yeah. They can affect you. Yeah. So you have to be careful who your friends are, who, yeah. you're, 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 who you surround yourself with. Yeah. You know, because some folks walk in fear. Yeah. No matter what you tell them, they're going to still walk in that fear. But we have yeah. to walk in faith. 
It's a choice. You have to make yourself. The yeah. Bible says quiet your soul. You know, your soul might get you fear because it's a spirit. You can't stop fear from coming, but you definitely can stop from staying. Yeah. Put the word on it. Yeah. Jesus did it. Amen. And when the enemy came up against him, his faith kicked in. He was hungry. And when you hungry sometimes, you get a little weak. Yeah, you yeah. get a look. You be a little confused, mm -hmm. but he took the word, and he every time the enemy came to him, he gave him the word. Yes, he did. He gave. He stood yes, on he the did. word. He believed the word. Amen. Amen. And he Amen. used the word. Amen. In so many cases, we won't use it. We 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 have faith in God, but we won't use it. Yeah. When we come up against something, yeah. fear comes out. Yeah. You know, fear comes out. Take that faith and attack that fear. Yeah. Yeah. Attack that fear, but stand on the word. Yeah. It's a choice. Stand on it. I want to give a quick testimony. Um, it's this one time I was having some skin issues and the doctors did a biopsy and they was like, we think you have cancer. And so getting this news was very, you know, it, it was disheartening. You know, mm -hmm. it was a shock and, and yeah, overwhelming. But I was like, nah, if God is allowing this to happen, mm -hmm. somehow, some way, he's going to get the glory and I'm going to benefit from it. That's the Lord. So I was like, I got to stand in faith. Well, mm -hmm. at one point I had to talk to one of the nurses. I gave a phone call to them. I was like, I need some information. And just to hear her her sadness and her, you know, just like, oh, doom and gloom in her voice. Mm -hmm. It hit me. It hit me. It started feeding into my fear. It started making me be like, next thing you know, I'm welling up and I'm starting to cry. Now, before I was good until I had that phone call and then I was hearing her fear and her doubts speaking into me and it was starting to make me start dealing some kind of way. Next thing you know, I'm crying and stuff. And I was like, oh no, I got to end this conversation real quick. I have, no, I can't because this is only feeding my fear and not my faith and trust Bless in God. Bless the Lord. So I ended that conversation and I got down on my knees and I, I went into prayer. Fast forward when it's time for me to take the, the surgery they was going to try to remove the cancerous cells. Mm -hmm. They brought me in and they said, you know what? They brought three doctors in. They was like, we apologize, but you've been misdiagnosed. In so many words, you've been misdiagnosed. And I just give God praise. You know, I know that's not everybody's testimony. Amen. But at the same time, yeah. it was a moment Amen. I had to fight. And even if I did have to go through that, I still have to fight that good fight of faith. Put my trust in the yes. Lord that he is going to carry me through, that he's going to heal. Amen. Mm -hmm. And even if he doesn't, I'm yes. still going to stand on his word because he is faithful and he is good. Mm. And all things will work together for the good for those who love him and are mm. called by him. Amen. So it is a fight. You do have to fight and stay in faith that God is God and he's in control. Amen. Amen. We we and we all have faith. Yeah. We all have a measure. Amen. You know the the, the, the apostles asked Jesus to increase their faith. Yeah. He told them you, you don't need to increase. You just need just use a grain of what you got. Yeah. Just just use what you got. Yeah. It is a choice. Amen. Now nobody's saying that it's not real that you've been bothered with fear mm -hmm. or the enemy ain't trying to. Kill, still destroy you. It's true. Yeah. It's absolutely true. The spirit, God, he said, I didn't give you that spirit. Yeah. He, so he, that lets me know that that spirit of fear is real. Yeah. That anxiety is real. Yeah. You know, that depression is real. Yeah. But he said, I didn't give it to you. So Amen. my thing is like this. If God didn't give it, I'm not receiving it. Amen. That's a choice. Amen. I'm not going to receive it. Yeah. You know, it's like somebody try to hand you some poison. Yeah. And you know, because you all been already been enlightened and aware that that's poison. Yeah. I'm not receiving that. No, thank you. Huh? No, <laughs> thank no, you. No, thank you. No, thank you. When, like when he says, <laughs> the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Oh, I got a choice in the matter. Yeah. When he said that to me, I said, you know, I, what is it in, in, in um, is it John it's, 14 or yeah, something like that? Yeah, John 14, 15, one of them. Yeah. I said, oh God, I got a choice in the matter. Yeah. He said, let not your heart be troubled. I just need you to believe. Yeah. Believe in Jesus. Believe in God. Believe yeah. in God and believe in. I said, oh, I got a choice in the mouth. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not receiving that. Then. Yeah. You trying to enemy? You trying to trouble my heart? Uh uh. Yeah. I'm gonna choose. I choose to believe. And you say that to yourself. 
Yeah. And you you study that word to help because it, you're gonna have to what you faith comes by hearing. Yeah. You hearing yourself say it, you hearing the word of God, you hearing men and women of God say it, your faith grows. Yeah. yeah. That's your faith, your faith grows. It yes. really it really does. It really does. Uh, uh, I, I, I just also wanted to share how um I wanted to look at Acts 14 and 9. Mm -hmm. Because faith can be seen. Yeah. You know, God sees faith. Faith can be seen. Uh, um, Dr. Slay, I want you to read that for me. But start at verse 8. Read 14, 8, and 9. Amen. Read that for me. Acts chapter 14, verse 8. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Read a little bit more. Said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. And he leapt and walked. Bless the Lord. So here we, here we have, um, we have a man that was crippled from his, his, um, from his mother's womb. <laughs> he was crippled. But when Paul, it says in nine, the same the same heard he he heard Paul speaking. Mm -hmm. Paul was speaking, and when and he's and, and, and um, but Paul looked on him, mm -hmm. and he looked at this man, and he saw that this man had faith to be healed. Amen. He looked at this man who was looking yeah. and listening to him. Yeah. Talk about Jesus. Talk yeah. giving and sharing the good news. Amen. Paul looked on this man, and he saw faith all in him. Yeah. You know, he saw faith all in him. And so he said to the man, in 10, he said it with a loud voice. He said, stand up right on your feet. And, then, and not only did he stand up, but he leaped. Amen. Amen. He, he, he says he leaped and he walked. They saw, they looked and saw. Yes. So, saw, Paul saw that did all in this man faith. He got faith to be healed. Yeah. He believed God. Yeah. He believed Amen. God. You can see it. How many times did Jesus say, uh, um, yeah. he saw that faith? Yeah. You know, he saw that faith. Woman, I, you know, you, woman, your faith had made you whole. Yeah. He told the friends that, that, uh, um, that opened up the roof and lowered down a man before Christ. He said, I seen that faith. Yeah. You're forgiven. Yeah. You know, salvation, your faith can be seen. Yeah. It can be seen in your countenance, in Absolutely. your demeanor. Amen. And your can, conversation and your actions. Yeah. Absolutely. And definitely with your actions. Yeah. You know, you will bear fruit. If you yeah. walk in faith, you will bear fruit. Yeah. You know, my Bible tells me you can, you can show your faith by the things you do. Yeah, 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 Amen. yeah. Amen. Your works will show your faith. Yes. You know, faith can be seen. Yeah. Let God see your faith. Yeah. This was Paul saw a man's faith. Yeah. This man was crippled. He was crippled from his mother's womb. Yeah. But he believed God. Yeah. He believed all he all he needed to hear. All he just needed some hearing. Yeah. Faith come and just to help increase it. Yeah. Somebody say, listen, get up. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus already did it for you. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. And not only did he get up, but he leaped. Yeah. And he walked. He had never walked before. Yeah. But it was his faith. Amen. Somebody spoke life to him. Amen. Sometimes you got to speak life to yourself. Yeah. To, 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 to cause yourself to pick up that bed or whatever is causing you to yeah. be crippled or uh, pick up that same stuff and that's holding you and carry yeah. it. Yeah. Your faith can do it for you. Yes, it can. And it's so important, like you mentioned earlier, where it says, you know, faith comes by hearing, amen, and hearing the word of God. Yes. And this is why it's so important that we allow the word of God to feed our spirit mm. and feed our faith. Yes. Amen. So that's that's why it's important to every day study the scriptures, amen, yes. study the word of God. It's important also to sing and listen to, mm -hmm. you know, music that yes. is also speaking the word of God, amen, having those conversations and, and, and you know, being fed by the word of God, you know, yes. people speaking the word of God. So you speaking mm. your, to yourself, amen, the word of God, yes. you know, a lot, I know the world does these affirmations. And they're really, they're, they're encouraging themselves. They're speaking their, their hopes and their dreams mm. and belief. How much more if yes. we speak the word of God to ourselves? Amen. Because God's going to back up his word. Mm. It is powerful. Amen. Life and death comes in the tongue. So if we would speak life, speak mm -hmm. the word of God. Amen. 
we will see the fruit thereof, mm. amen, in our lives. So it's so important, amen, that we hold on to that faith. We fight the good fight of faith. We feed faith, amen. Because Feed in, that faith. Because you can, you're either going to feed faith or you're going to feed fear. Absolutely. And whatever you feed is going to get stronger, exactly. amen. And exactly. whatever you starve is going to get weaker. So if you are starving your faith, amen, you're going to get weak in faith. Yes. Amen. But if you are feeding your faith, you're going to get stronger in mm. faith. Amen. So let's starve fear. Mm. Let's starve sin. Let's starve these things that's going to trip us up. Amen. Mm. And let us feed that faith. Add to that faith. Absolutely. Persevere in faith. Amen. And then we will see God come through for us. Mm. Amen. And don't forget. Don't forget as Hebrews 4 and 2 said, mix it. Mix it with faith. Mix the word with faith. Mix, mix the word you got to have it. You get got to have a word. Yeah. Mix it with your faith. Amen. Amen. Mix, Amen. Hold on to your faith. He told people, Peter, I pray for you. Yeah. I prayed, he said, that your faith fail you not. Amen. Don't let your faith fail. Don't let your faith fail. Stand on your faith. Amen. Amen. Stand. Be like a tree standing yes. by the river of water. Produce. Your faith yes. will help you produce in any season. Amen. Amen. Stand on your faith. Amen. Walk by it. Amen. Live by it. Amen. Confess it. Amen. Amen. It'll do so much for you. Your Amen. wholeness will come through it. Amen. Amen. So that's all the time that we have today on what did God say? Amen. I just want to leave you with this. If you get a chance, check out Hebrews chapter 11 and 12. But in Hebrews 12, it talks about, you know, perfecting that faith. Amen. And allowing God's discipline and how he trains us, allow it to have that work. In verse 12, it says, hey, take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak will not and lame will not fall, but become strong. So what it's talking about mm. is make a pathway yes. so that your faith can go forward. Amen. Yes. In those areas where you're struggling in your faith, amen. Fight to help make that faith strong. Amen. Yes, yes. So that is um that all that I have. I'm gonna turn it back mm. over to Dr. Kathy for her last mm. words. That's an awesome prayer. scripture. That's an awesome scripture for me. Mm. Because it says, you know, some parts of our us might be a little weak. Mm -hmm. So strengthen that part. Yeah. Strengthen that part. Amen. Amen. You know, faith is so much in faith. The yeah. worlds were framed by faith. Amen. Amen. But I just want to say, as I say every week, beloved. Above all things, I pray that you may be that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we praise you, we honor and adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus, teach us, Holy Spirit, how to walk by faith, live by faith, and stand on our faith and profess it every day of our life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and mix it also. Yes, Lord. With the word. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless. God bless.